So next, I have the esteemed honor of uh, welcoming Howard Milstein to the stage. Chair Howard is the uh, chairman, president, and CEO of New York Private uh, Bank and Trust and its operating bank, Immigrant Bank. Howard is a leading figure in local, national, uh, and global affairs. Uh, his civic boards and philanthropic accomplishments are literally too many to list here, uh, but I'll highlight one, which is that Howard served as the chairman of the New York State uh, Thruway Authority, nominated by Governor Andrew Cuomo uh, in, uh, in 2011. I had the privilege of spending a couple of days with Howard uh, in Albany as we both got our uh, approvals from the Senate at uh, the same time. So I can attest he's one of the smartest men I know, uh, worldly, a renaissance man, and you can have any conversation about any subject, and Howard is well versed uh, in it. At the, at the Transit Authority, he brought a, a bear to, uh, he brought a bear of a lifetime of private sector experience and knowledge in large-scale development, initiating a, and leading a design building process that saved New York nearly $2 billion from the original cost to replace the Tappan Sea Bridge. Howard served as, chair, as chairman through 2014 and was recognized for his achievements with the Regional Plan Association's Lifetime Achievement Award in 2013, an award which was presented to him by RPA board member and longtime friend, John Zuccotti. Howard is not only a longtime leader in, New York, in the New York region, but also a longtime friend of the Regional Planning Association. I'm very pleased to welcome Howard to the stage to announce one, sp uh, one special way in which we are carrying on John Zuccotti's incredible legacy. Howard. Thank you, Scott, for those kind words. And most of all, thank you for your leadership of the RPA. John Zuccotti occupied a very special place in the lives of so many of us here today and in the life of New York. John was my close personal friend, advisor, confidant, mentor, and partner. We're so pleased that John's wife, Susan, is here today to celebrate John's memory as we present this first lifetime award in his name. Where's Susan? If John had been here today in this ballroom, so many of you would have made sure to come and speak with him, to shake his hand and exchange a few words, tell him you'd call him to follow up on this or that matter. People would have wanted to talk with him about big things, the future of the city, of the region, of the country, of the world. And some people would have been eager to speak with him about personal concerns, their lives and careers, and about fishing and children and grandchildren. John built his life and career on the strength of several unique qualities, a vast network of relationships, the penetrating insights of his intellect, the power of his personality, the generosity and kindness of his manner, and above all, his rock-solid integrity. For decades, John was in the room where our city's most important business and civic conversations and decisions took place. He was literally in the room where it happens. John was a New York icon, a central figure in the revitalization of New York City. He was a public servant, lawyer, business leader, and civic advocate. He played a critical role in shaping the physical, fiscal, cultural, and political life of New York. John's career had its roots in planning going back to early postings as an urban planning consultant, a stint at the Department of Housing and Urban Development in Washington, then for Mayor John Lindsay as a member of the New York City Planning Commission and later as its chairman. In 1975, he served as first deputy mayor under Abe Beam and was one of the key players in saving New York. Among his many leadership roles, John was a long-serving member of the Board of Directors and Executive Committee of the Regional Plan Association. The RPA acknowledging his lifelong interest, prescient vision, and countless successes in all aspects of planning and city government saw fit to name its prestigious Lifetime Achievement Award for John Zuccotti. John never sought elective office. After his public service, he made many of his civic contributions behind the scenes. 
Today's honoree, however, has thrived in elected office and enjoyed the bright lights of our political stage as a star. Vice President Joe Biden is a global leader who has also made exceptional contributions to the built environment. His unwavering support for the Gateway Project, the rebuilding of LaGuardia Airport, and the development of a high-speed rail network in the Northeast Corridor are just a few examples. Joe Biden's commitment to infrastructure and mass transit has meant a great deal to us here in the New York region. We all know how terrible our airports were, but it took the Vice President famously coming here and observing that LaGuardia wasn't worthy of the nation's biggest city to kickstart needed change. As he takes his new position as the Benjamin, Frank, the Benjamin Franklin Presidential Practice Professor, it's a little bit of a mouthful, at the University of Pennsylvania, where he will lead the Penn Biden Center for Diplomacy and Global Engagement, we hope that he will come to New York more often now and keep us on our toes. As John's representative, I've been proud to chair the prize selection committee for the award named in his honor. Along with my co-chair, Scott Reckler, it's a tremendous honor for us to present the Regional Plan Association's inaugural John Zuccotti Award to Vice President Joe Biden.